Hi, this video is going to demonstrate the various recovery modes we have for our current Datalogic mobile computers. Uh, it's all detailed in each of the user manuals for the device, but I also think it's useful to actually see how this is done real world. There's a few tips and tricks that might help. So what I've got here on my desk is five devices. I've got the Memo K, the Memo 1, the Memo 20, the Memo 10, and the Scorpio X5 XLR. So we'll go through each device one by one, factory reset each, um, just so that you guys can see the process. So let's start with the Memo 1. So the instructions here are, we need to turn off the device. We then need to push the power key with a metallic clip. Power key is on the back of the device. Uh, I metallic clip, I'm using a paper clip. And immediately after, press the scan key. If we do that successfully, we'll then see the recovery menu. So let's try that. First thing we need to do is turn off the device. We'll flip it over, and this is the power key that we're going to push in with the paper clip. So I'm just going to rest that in there. I'm not pushing it in yet, I'm just holding it in position. And I'm going to push that in, and then the power key. So paper clip in, scan key down. About two seconds after this screen comes on, release both. After five seconds or so, we are into the recovery mode. So the option most people are looking for is factory reset. It's a fourth one down. To get to that, we're going to use the touch screen. And depending on the direction that you move your finger, you can choose up and down. So when we get to factory reset, we can push the scan key once. It'll tell us that the factory reset is OK. And it's defaulted back to the top menu, which is reboot system now. So that's the one we now need to do. Okay, so that's now going to go through the recovery procedure. In about three minutes, that'll be back to the hi there screen that you see out of the box. So while that's going on, we'll have a look at the Memo 10. So the instructions on this device tell us again we need to turn it off. And we're going to push the power button and the volume up button on the left-hand side at the same time. And we should see a boot menu. Once we get to that boot menu, we can choose recovery mode. So let's go through that now. So my device is actually already off, so I'm going to push the power and the volume button at the same time. So what I actually did there was power and then volume a split second after. Uh, so you can see the recovery mode there is the top option. So once you're in here, uh, you move through the options with the volume up key and then volume down selects it. So I'm going to choose the top one there that says recovery. Push the volume down. And when this comes back, you'll see that familiar recovery mode screen. So similar options so at the top, we've got reboot system now. And all the way at the bottom, we've got factory reset. So I'm going to move down with the volume down key, factory reset. And I'm going to push the power button to select that. So this one is immediately going to go through that reset procedure. And it tells us, hopefully you can see that, it then says factory reset complete. So the last thing we'll do, again, is reboot the system with the power key. And when that comes back up, that one will also be reset. OK, so on to the Memo 20. Uh, let's have a look at the instructions for that one. So with the Memo 20, um, instructions are very similar to the Memo 10. We need to turn off the device using the power button and volume up. We'll get into recovery mode, see this screen, and select the option we need. So if we go back to the device, power that one off. So power on the right, volume on the left. I'm going to do power, then volume. When I see the data logic splash screen, power volume. Release those buttons. And 
and into recovery mode there. Okay, so volume down until we get to factory reset. Push the power button to select that option. And when that short process is completed, we then need to reboot the system now, which is the top option again. So I'm going to push the power key. And that one's now in the process of resetting also. Okay, so let's have a look at the memo K. Okay, so for this one, a little bit different. Uh, once again, turn off the device. Power and up arrow simultaneously. We'll get to the pre-recovery screen where we select recovery and go through the usual options. So with the memo K, just connect that. Sure, it's got enough power for this. So we're going to turn off using the button down here. And then we're going to do power and this key here, which is volume up. So power volume up. So you see the splash screen. Okay. So we're into the pre-recovery mode. And then we're going to use the up arrow here to cycle through to recovery. We push the down arrow here to select. And that'll get us into our familiar recovery mode menu. Um, using the same keys, we will go down the list to the bottom, factory reset, and then use the power button down here to select that option. And just as the others, when that process is finished, we need to select the top option, which is reboot system now, again with the power key. And that will cycle through its recovery procedure. So last up is the SX5. So if we pull up the manual for this one. So when you turn off the device, power key and right trigger, that's the scan trigger, will get us into recovery mode. So let's go through that now. Power off. Okay, so power key on the left scan button on the right. So I'm going to push power, split second later, hold down the scan. Power, scan. When you see the splash screen, you can release. Okay, so once again into recovery. Uh, we need to get down to factory reset. So we're going to use the two scan keys to navigate this menu. The right one will take us down to factory reset, and then we're going to use the power key on the left to select that. When that's finished, we'll choose the top option, reboot system now with the power key. And that will now go through the recovery procedure. So when that's finished, uh, it will get to the same point as all of our other devices. You can see at the high there screen, ready to be deployed.